Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Every player has their own preference when it comes to playing games, one of which is stretched resolution. Although this is a bit unconventional, setting stretched resolution has its own advantages, such as allowing the player to better visualize their target, among other reasons. In this video, I will show you how to get the stretched resolution in Fortnite if you're running Windows 11. Let's go! Since Fortnite doesn't technically have a built-in configuration to stretch your gameplay, the first step you need to take is to manually change the resolution of your computer screen. Go to Settings and navigate to System. Open the Display Configuration page and scroll to Display Resolution. To get a stretched display, set your monitor's default width to a lower horizontal resolution. For example, if your monitor resolution is 3840 by 2160 by default, set scale to 200%, which will enlarge everything on the screen and make it appear stretched. On the other hand, if your desired resolution is not among the options in your display settings, your alternative would be to create a custom dimension. Typically, a computer's built-in graphics card is either NVIDIA or AMD, so the steps may vary but the configuration should be similar so you can follow the next steps. In my case, I have an NVIDIA, so just open the control panel and locate the Change Resolution menu under Display Settings. Continue by entering your custom resolution in the appropriate fields, and don't forget to save your changes. Please note that this specific configuration is available on a desktop PC, so it probably won't work if you're using a laptop. After setting up your monitor's resolution, the final step is to create an additional configuration directly within your chosen Fortnite game. When the game launches, go to your profile icon in the top right corner and click the gear button to open the settings tab. Under display configuration, set windows mode to windowed and choose your preferred resolution. Confirm your changes by clicking the apply button. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.